Countdown has officially begun as NASA's Artemis 1 mission looks right there live. This is looking at the Kennedy Space Station as it is right now. We're watching less than 24 hours away from liftoff in this latest phase of U.S. space exploration. You know, it was originally scheduled to take off Monday, but then that launch got scrubbed because of tech issues. But everything seems good to go this time around. This will mark the first time the U.S. has sent humans to the moon in 50 years. Skylar Henry is at the Space Center with the final preps. NASA is keeping an eye on some dicey weather, but says for now, the Saturday launch is a go. Our team is ready. They are getting better with every attempt. The launch window opens at 2.17 p.m. Eastern for Artemis 1 to blast into lunar orbit. This one's a test flight, but one day a human crew will ride in the capsule for the first moon landing in half a century. It's like our, my DNA is changing just looking at what's happening right now. Italian astronaut Luca Parmitano came here to the Kennedy Space Center to watch and imagine. Are you somebody that wants to get back up there, especially in these missions ahead? Well, look at me. <laughs> uh, here I am wearing my, my flight suit because this is, this is what I do. This is what we signed up to do. With the launch now scheduled over the holiday weekend, it's attracting bigger crowds than the last launch attempt. Between 200 and 400,000 people are expected to pack the area for a look. Monday's launch was scrubbed because of engine trouble and a problem with the chilling operation. NASA now believes a faulty sensor was to blame. Right now, team has really just done a fantastic job getting us out of launch attempt number one, repairing all the issues, and getting us into a safe configuration to proceed into a tomorrow's launch attempt. If there's another scrub on Saturday, liftoff moves to Monday afternoon. But for now, NASA's most powerful rocket ever is on the pad, poised for its maiden moonshot. Skyler Henry, CBS News at the Kennedy Space Center.